Do you remember clearly the day he went into the Navy? Well, I think it was the end of June. And then, he, as I say, he went on the Doris to Portsmouth for the Naval Review. And then back, war was declared, back, cold ship and gone. I never saw him. And all you had from him was the one letter, was it? And I never had letters then for a oh, good nine, ten weeks. And then they started to come. But of course, as he said, he couldn't say very much because he hadn't had no news from home. Well, then I had all the letters gradually returned with a blue stamp mark across, ship lost. That was the 1st of November that he was killed in action. And on the following February, I had a little daughter, which I'm very proud of. Did you carry on hoping yourself that he was still alive? I was open for five to six years. I could never think that he was because he was such a powerful swimmer, swimmer, and I really thought, and I lived in hopes I should see him again. What was the sort of general feeling among people? Well, everybody was wondering what next they was going to hear. And they lived in, well, we lived in fear of what the news might bring, because you didn't have television and all that sort of thing. No wireless or nothing like that in those days. You just had to wait till your turn come for a letter of any sort from Admiralty or anything. You wouldn't know whether they was gone or not. It was most anxious times. Why do you keep up this memory after all these years? I can't help it. He was such a good husband to me in every shape and form. I could never forget him.